Mr. Retro Wolf has released episode 16 of his Mr. Core development series. In this episode, you will learn all about the Mr. Framework, all the benefits you get when using the framework, and you will get to try out the final gameplay of the core you're creating. For the next episode, you will go over implementing sound. This video is also helpful for those who want to know just exactly what the Mr. Framework is. Using it saves core developers a lot of time because it handles many of the important and common features that are used across cores. Things such as controller input support, video filters, HDMI output, and much more. While the video can be very technical, there are sections that are very informative for any viewer, and Mr. Retro Wolf provides chapters so you can view topics that are of particular interest to you. A Track 17 has gotten driving wheel support working well enough to make a commit to the official Mr. Linux kernel. Also included is analog trigger support for those using gamepads. This is going to be very useful for the Outrun core and any core that supports analog controls for driving games or maybe even flight games. Just imagine playing Galaxy Forth with a HOTAS setup, if a Galaxy Force core ever materializes, of course. Testing wheels was done on Monsieur FPGA. This is an alternate Mr. Distribution with a lot of developer-friendly features. It is maintained by the Track 17 and DJ Hardrich. If you want more information on Monsieur FPGA, you can check out the project's GitHub, and you can also check out the brief explanation I gave on one of my older news videos. Links will be in the description. The driver has been pushed to the Mr. Kernel and is currently awaiting to be updated. There is a lot more info in the Patreon post like what wheels are officially supported, installing the Outrun core, testing wheels with the PlayStation core, and how to actually implement the kernel yourself in your Mr. Just in case you do not want to wait until it's officially added. It's a good read, so check it out. While you're there, consider subscribing to Attract 17's Patreon. Remember, Outrun is not yet playable, but you can get into the input test and sound test of the core. A missile command core is currently in development by Jimmy Stones. The game boots up, but still needs more work before it's fully playable. Jimmy Stones has given several development updates on Twitter. Over the week, some steady progress has been made. The court went from having graphical and sound glitches and would reset after 240 frames to improving the sound and fixing some of the graphical glitches. Missile Command from Atari is a game where you have several cities being attacked by incoming missiles. Your job is to launch counter-missile attacks to prevent your cities from being destroyed. The arcade game used a trackball to control the crosshair that helps you aim your missile attacks. It's a control scheme that worked well for this game. Hotego has made the PAN core available for everyone to download. You can either download it from Hotego's GitHub or use the update all script to have it downloaded automatically for you. PAN, also known as Buster Bros, is a pretty simple game where you travel the world popping bubbles. Every time a bubble is popped, it turns into two smaller ones until they are too small to pop and they completely disappear. After the level is cleared of all bubbles, you move on to the next. Potego has also released a beta for Techno's Renegade arcade game to Patreon subscribers. Renegade is an early beat em up arcade game released in 1986 that has you fighting a variety of street gangs to save your girlfriend. If you want to try out the Renegade core and you're a fan of Potego's work, Subscribe to his Patreon to get access to all his beta cores before the public gets to play them. The PlayStation updates keep coming. These updates are not official, but you can obtain test cores from the Mr. FPGA Discord to try them out yourself. A CD speedup option was added. This feature can increase the CD transfer rate to games. The core can use up to 8x CD speeds in many games, significantly boosting loading times from the PlayStation's original 2x speed. This is a fantastic quality of life improvement that gets you spending more time playing games and less time on loading screens. Robert, the developer, has shown some examples on how significant the load times can be reduced. So that was a cool new feature that's been added. Alongside that, Robert has also made some bug fixes that have improved compatibility. Beast Wars Transmetals is now working on the latest unstable build of the core. Also, a glitch in Micro Machines V3 was fixed that has the game now rendering correctly. Again, these changes are not official yet, but will be implemented once the official build gets released. But you can still download the latest unstable build from the Mr. FPGA Discord or from GitHub. This week, RD MNK3 has released a beta for Ikari Warriors by SNK, 
and you can obtain it by the just running your update script. It's still in beta, but already there have been several updates. One update added native support for SNK LS30 rotary controls using a custom adapter. Yes, you can build your very own rotary control to get the most accurate experience with the Kari Warriors. There's a GitHub page showing exactly how to build this adapter. It's a snack adapter, so you do not have to worry about any extra controller lag. The adapter is currently in the proof of concept stage, and everything you need to know on how to build it is in the GitHub. But if you just want to play the game with regular controllers, you can of course do that, so update your Mr. to play it. And other miscellaneous Mr. fixes and updates are, for the Tank 3 core, native support for SNK's LS30 rotary controller was also added via Snack. And thanks to Tori Yalai 1, a typo was also fixed in the Japanese MRA file. For the Athena and Fighting Golf cores, R&D MNK3 removed the one pixel shift of the background layer and added Snack DB15 support. That's it for other updates. Please also try to support Sorge, the maintainer of the Mr. Project and other Mr. Developers and contributors on support platforms such as Patreon and Ko-fi. Their hard work allows us to enjoy this amazing project. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure you also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in blog form and to get more retro related content and if possible, support them on Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and it's bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.